Hello, mom. Or my mom's employees, if she sends this to them. I have a very, very good idea, good plan that I think you can enact. Obviously, I've been hiring interns from this college, and so I've been getting some of the best methods to get the best interns. One, I learned that the best people are most interested in the opportunity or incentives than they are like a base stipend. Two, I found the best way to recruit the smartest people is by using existing students and asking them, who is the smartest friend that you have in this field? So what you want to use that for, what is the basis of what this internship offer is given is an idea that I have for the future of Colette Boutique 816. You can do two different teams for each one or even two teams who compete with each other for each store. And part of the basis of this as well is I'm thinking about the fact that you want to retire and you know, if Kelly wouldn't take over those stores and you're thinking about just shutting it down, obviously it's way smarter to have someone who manages those things and finding those people. And at the very least, of course, you try to keep it running without taking your time and putting it into it. You know, not, don't just kill it just because you're done. But even so, I would be happy to apply whatever things that I can and growth things that I can towards this business. And I think any successful business can do very well by then duplicating itself. And what do I mean by that? I mean, franchising is the better method of duplication because it doesn't require personal risk or time. What you do and what you should start accumulating is a repository of videos about how you operate the business. And so this is like the training deck for anyone who wants to start their own clothing store. You kind of build them and give them the ins and outs. And the startup capital isn't that much because it's rental plus inventory. You can figure out exactly what that amount is. There's different ways to do franchises, which is sometimes they pay you an upfront thing to get the blueprint to use the name and then a certain percent of royalty. Some of them are a pure percent of royalty. You would provide maybe the payment solution so that you make sure you're getting those specific royalties. All the stuff that you've handled this single time is so valuable. You made the important decisions already. You made the decisions which has made this business successful and it can happen now at other places and other people can take the risk just by learning about your business, your story. And that is actually the value of social media for you guys. Obviously you tried selling clothes online but what you need to sell is the idea of starting a clothing business. One client from here could net hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I think through social media, that would be super interesting to tons of women who wanna start a clothing store near a college campus, even students who wanna to come together whose parents may support their entrepreneurial journey. And so you reach these people by doing Instagram stories, shorts, Facebook lasso. You can use the same piece of short form content for that. The website is optimized to get people to start their own Colette. You show off the profit. That always wins. There's so many gurus selling crappy courses and ways to make money when they're not even making money themselves. You have a real business with real valuable methods, with real insights and that is the thing that can be taken and fleshed out across the nation. And then once you have a global nation network and much larger social media, that's when an online store could become a thing. Physical locations plus the one. And you could just have one big warehouse which ships all the orders. It's once it's doing that sort of volume. So I think fundamentally the big idea here is you find a social media student to partner up with a franchise style student. I give them access to like my web developers who can make the site exactly how they envision the best way that it can sell the franchise. They watch YouTube videos on how do you make 
and, and franchise your business, come up with the model. You can even have multiple options depending on what someone wants, how much help they want. Because maybe they, you know, one of the things that I know McDonald's does is they send an employee out to train the other employees to be a manager at the store for a month. So they get all the right processes and procedures down or even helping to build the store. All these different services you can offer depending on the level that someone wants to come in at with investment. Do they want help with the design and stuff? That's just a service you offer now as a franchisee. Some of them may be lower. Um, and some of them may want to operate the business themselves, but not have all of the startup capital. So depending on how this actually plays out, if you're like, wow, our, our, all of our franchisees are making tons of money, then this is where reinvestments could happen in all the potential business owners who sign up through the website, who say, hey, I don't have money, but I have a lot of passion. I have a lot of energy. I want to start this business. So if someone could partner with me, that's another just resource that you find online. It's almost like what I did with Nutrihaler. I found TikTok ambassadors from us posting on TikTok. So the other people who ordered would also become our marketers. This is, I think, what the future of Colette and Boutique 816 could be in a really big way. I think social media, in order to sell business paths, has never been more powerful. And your your profit margin per each sale is massive. I think a lot of people want to start a clothing store. I think if every day an Instagram reel was posted, which said, Here's our, here was our revenue, here was our profit, that would be one channel, which would bring in a ton of people from the business side who would want to start their own store. So I feel like the marketing's easy. That's interesting because people love the behind the scenes of business metrics and I think some, some really good students would hop on board of this with the incentive of taking 10% of the profit from these franchise companies. So you could give them a, a base stipend if they really want or need it. Um, but you could also just connect, I wonder, with the business school at the college. I'd never tried in America, but obviously I'm working with the owner of this school and he's allowing me to start my own viral media course with 400 of the students here. So there are now 400 free employees for me. They get the experience of creating real content. I'm providing that as basically the service is, hey, here's real companies. And like, here's the pathway that I use to make a viral company, which did nearly a million dollars in sales in a year. And, you know, here's the method for that. Someone yesterday just got 100,000 views, by the way, for the Holy Bible app. And overall, I can flesh this out more, but I feel like I gave all the tidbits of it. I feel like it's all there. Would love to help make this a thing because I'm pretty bullish. Thinking about it, I don't think it could fail. But working with the college, like having an entire classroom of students learning social media, pair up with some economic students. You could actually just make it a thesis project or a part of the school system, and then it'd be zero risk or zero overhead towards that and have a cast a much wider net of students who may be able to make the business go viral. All parts of the business could be turned into content. Packing the orders could be one channel because you want to niche down the channel to, it, to the same series of content. That is how you create a successful channel. This person who just got 100,000 views has been doing asking people, what do you fear? Just doing day one, day two, and it's been growing more and more. When you have a specific niche, the algorithm can find the specific audience that likes that type of content, and people are more likely to go to your page and watch all the other days of content. And so, if you're doing that with the sales, that's really good. If you're doing that with just showing individual orders being checked out, that's really good. And, other things that I could think of would be getting shipments in, um, putting new items on the racks. Basically, you should just have a Instagram Reels person logged into like six different Instagram accounts, TikTok accounts, and making pieces of content that then they upload to all these different channels. I'm just getting into 
the Innovation and Entrepreneurship Center here, where I'm about to film a video myself. With some peeps. So, much love to you, Mama. I think this is a good idea. I think, let me know how I can help make it happen. But I think going through the school in some form could be really, really awesome.